Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make these beautiful cottage style decoupage pumpkins and you are not going to believe how easy and inexpensive they are to make. I actually bought most of the materials at the dollar store. You can also make these in any style you like. So if a soft floral isn't your thing, you can certainly make them in your own unique style. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Laura Beth Love and I'm an artist and author and I love to create all different types of art and craft projects and share them with you. Now let's get started. Today we're gonna to take this dollar store pumpkin and we're gonna turn it into your own handcrafted decoration for your house for Halloween. These are light styrofoam and they're hollow and I wish they were a different material because they're not recyclable, that kind of bothers me. Um, they do make paper pulp ones some at some places. They sell them in some craft stores. Uh, they are a little bit more expensive, but here we're only spending a dollar. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna paint our styrofoam pumpkin white. And to do that, you're gonna use a basic white craft paint. I'm using Dick Blick acrylic paint. You don't have to use your very best paint. Um, you know, you can use inexpensive craft paint and the whole point is that we don't want the color since this is like a neon orange um, pumpkin we do not want the color showing through so we want to make sure that we cover it with a nice base coat of white okay so I have a craft brush and like I said paper plate as my palette white paint and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna brush over this um, it has a texture you know that little it's like little dots of styrofoam that were molded together. And it kind of looks like a snake skin or an alligator skin when you first paint over it. And uh, you want to kind of get into those little spaces and try to get most of that orange covered up. Um, unless you're using a dark colored decoupage paper, maybe something, you know, like a black or a dark orange, then you would not need to paint over it. Um, for the stem in the end, you know, these are just stuck on with a toothpick and my stem kept falling out so I went and grabbed my E6000 without thinking and because that's what I use for everything and I love it um, but it actually like kind of melted the styrofoam and I forgot that that happens uh, you know the first thing you think is well just you know grab a glue gun but you don't want to use a hot glue gun on styrofoam either because then you're you know you're using heat so you know just paint over this let me make sure that I'm in focus for you and like I'm being kind of vigorous with like I'm pressing pretty hard to get into those little spaces and in a moment I'm gonna have this all over my hands when I have to turn it well here I'll go this way first so yeah um, once you do this and you don't have to do a really thick coat like I said you just want to you know get the brightness out so yeah so uh, there we go. Um, going down to where I'm holding it, I'm gonna go over the stem because I'm gonna do something else with that. I may completely cover that with something else or paint it in the end. Um, can cover that with the decoupage paper as well, whether you're using tissue paper or napkins, which is what we're gonna use today. I have both. Um, I figured, you know, let's buy all the supplies at the dollar store and see what we can get. And uh, so that's what I did. Now, I did not buy the paint and the brush and the Mod Podge at the dollar store. I bought those at the craft store. But I bought the decoupage papers, like I said, napkins and um, tissue paper. And this one's just about done. I have a little bit extra. I'm gonna take my fingers off and it's probably gonna leave some spots, but that's okay. If you want, you can do it in, uh, you know, you can do just like the top, let it dry, and then turn it over and do the bottom. So I have one that's already finished that I did earlier. And it took about, and this one I finished earlier, it took about maybe 20 minutes to dry, 25. You could see I kind of went, was lazy on the bottom. But um, let me go wash my hands and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have this one that I painted earlier today. I set it on a paper plate to dry in front of a, a you know table fan. And it dried in about 20, 25 minutes. Like I said, I'm not gonna bother going over the bottom because I'm gonna cover that anyway. What we're going to need for this next part is you're going to need your decoupage medium and I'm going to use the popular Mod Podge and they have a matte finish luster 
which is like a glossy or shiny finish. I didn't care whether mine was going to be matte or gloss. I didn't have an exact idea in my mind of how I wanted it to look in the end. So I just grabbed the newest one I had, which is the gloss. The next thing is we're gonna choose our napkin. Now you can use all different kinds of things to decoupage these. You can use old book pages that you can get at like a thrift store, and I'm talking about books that are in disrepair, falling apart, missing pages, nothing good, nothing valuable. Again, um, there's plenty of old book pages that you could recycle and use for this project. Um, you do want to have a paper that's flexible and that's not too cardboardy. Um, it will be harder to work with. Uh, another paper that you can use is this is a sewing pattern, and um, you know you can get these at thrift stores. Uh, I find them all the time for like between ten cents and like a dollar twenty-five, with the average price being twenty-five cents or fifty cents a pattern. And a lot of them I find they're torn up, uh, they're old, they're really out of style. Um, these you can use too. You may need to put more than one coat on the of the paint because you know you don't want that to the orange to show through. Okay. Now I found these napkins at the dollar store. I have a sunflower design and I have a very popular tropical leaf design. I thought, hmm, well maybe for something different. So I thought, well I'll grab them and when I get home I'll decide. I also picked up two packs of tissue paper. These are really pretty. These I also got at the dollar store. Um, one of them is more like a watercolor motif, and this one is a smaller, finer floral print that has kind of like a, looks like it was inked with a, a pen. Um, that's a really pretty design too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to basically hold them up and think, you know, which do I like? You know, which one do I wanna use? And you know, I'm not really, I, I really don't like the idea of this on this because I really want mine to be like, seasonal, autumn, fall, um, maybe for like a more modern kind of cool interior this would go with your house or maybe you live in more of a tropical place like you know down south in Florida or something, um, you might want something like that. But my next one I'm going to look at, I'm pretty sold in the sunflowers, I think it's real pretty. Um, and out of the watercolor ones, I actually think I like the smaller floral print. So now I'm down to these two. Which do I want? Well, let's open up the napkins and see what they're like. Now, these aren't like really soft napkins that you'd use, you know, at home as like a regular dinner napkin. These are more the kind you put in your bathroom when you're having a party for people to use as towels. And um, they are kind of, not too ply, but they, when you open it up, look, it only has it printed down the center. How do you like that? Who would have known? I had no idea. That's kind of funny. So if we're gonna use this one, we're gonna to have to cut it out. So let me take one or two of these and just zip through it with my craft scissors. And I'm just gonna cut this part off. And hmm, I thought I would be able to use the whole thing, but you know, that's how it is at the dollar store sometimes, right? You can go to a department store and you can buy fancy ones. I know our local grocery store, Wegmans, that we go to, they have beautiful party napkins and um, some really pretty designs. They're not, you know, inexpensive. They're about, you know, between six and maybe eight dollars for a pack. Uh, but if you're having a special occasion, they're just beautiful. I'm also going to cut off this. There's like a little print writing at the bottom, and I don't want that showing up on my pumpkin. That like ruins the whole thing, right? So I have two of these, I may need a third, but before I go ahead and start decoupaging that, I wanna look at this one. Now this is tissue paper, so let's see. Yes, it does open at the bottom. This is so pretty. All right, so I have solid and, Oh man, the solid would look good too, right? Solid with like a little bit of this over it. You could do it kind of like shredded, um, patchy, patchwork kind of style. And let's check this out. This is very pretty. And you know what? They're not too big. These are just the right size for crafting. Let me fold this back up. Okay, so. Yeah, there's definitely a right side and a wrong side. Let me cut this down right away so it's easier to handle. So 
I'll cut this into two. And then I'm going to cut this into two. All right. So let's see what this would look like. Just taking one sheet of this and putting this on. Oh, I kind of really like that. Let's do this, right? But you know what? We didn't give this one a chance. Let's see. Hmm, there's another line where the pattern separates. Cute, but you know what? I really want the pink. So, yay. All right, so I'm gonna take these, and to get these ready, now this can either go on top and be pushed down this way, or, you know, I like to actually do the bottom first because whatever, you know, scrappy ends you have coming up in the end, before you put the top on, when you put the top on, like that's gonna cover those edges up. So let's do the bottom first. And I don't think I really have to put this all on on one big sheet, but I, I will and I can just use my scissors to cut some away. But let's open up our Mod Podge. And let me find my craft brush. Now, you might want to use, you know, a larger size craft brush for this. Nothing gigantic. This one's about an inch or so, three quarters of an inch. Yeah, this is three quarters of an inch. All right. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip this over and I'm going to apply Mod Podge. And I'm not going to do two. I'm not going to do like the entire pumpkin right away. I do want to be liberal with it. I want to make sure I have, you know, a nice thick coating on there. Now, let's go around, kind of working from the bottom, coating the entire bottom, and then going toward the sides. It's a little difficult to hold. <laughs> All right, almost finished here. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the Mod Podge, but you know, it's gonna be a little bit messy here and there. Okay, so you can see I have a nice thick coating of that on there. And I wanna make sure I go down far enough so that my sides are gonna stick. Okay, so now let's take this and, that toward me, just kind of smush it right down on that. Very nice. You don't. You want to be um, kind of gentle with it. You don't want to press hard because you, this is really thin paper. This is a lot thinner than using the napkins. Um, so you want to just basically like very gently kind of press around. And I'm going to go around the pumpkin. And I'm pressing into where the indentations are that are up the side of the pumpkin. This is a pretty pattern. It's like a watercolor. It has like a little bit of pink in the background on a white background. And the smaller floral I just thought was really pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna hold it to the side and keep pressing in there. It doesn't have to be perfectly smooth unless you want it to be. You know, you can press down all those little um, wrinkles that are in there. If you don't have enough of the decoupage medium, you can get a bubble, you have to be careful. And you know, if it does tear in a little spot, because it is this style and this look, like you can cover that up with either a little bit of paint or another little pinch of paper. And I'll show you that if we, if we come to that. So now with this part, um, you can cut it off or you can decoupage it up, you know, on there. I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna snip these extras off because it's gonna kind of be too thick and lumpy and I don't want that. So I'm just gonna press and make sure I have everything stuck on as far as I put that Mod Podge. And then I'm just gonna take my craft scissors like this and I'm just gonna cut those extra pieces off. And you know, like I said, you can set those aside and if you need a little patch somewhere, there's your patch, right? Okay, now, I know when you start a project, you're like, oh, I can't wait to get started, and let's start at the top, and instant gratification, it looks so pretty. <laughs> um, but you know what? It's nice now the bottom's done. And like, I can take my time and like really spend time on the top and make sure that it looks like, you know, 
just as it should and and uh, so yeah so that's why I prefer doing the bottom first okay so yeah I can see I almost have a little too much here and there it's kind of I don't want to tear the paper you know okay so let me set these pieces aside and let's finish it off and do the top all right so here's my other piece and I have a little you know area here when I cut it with the scissors I did it quickly and it's like I cut it on the fold but you don't have to work, cut that off or worry about it because you're just gonna you know decoupage that right back down onto the pumpkin Okay, so um, what I'm gonna do is I can either put this right over the stem and like, you know, kind of work it that way, or I can make a hole and then cover the stem, the stem separately. And that's what I'm gonna do because putting it on like this is kind of hokey. So I'm gonna find where the center is and then I'm just gonna like hold it there and just make a little snip with my scissors, like just a little hole and then I'm gonna turn the paper the other way and find where I made that little hole and I'm gonna make it like like I cut an X in there and that's gonna be so I can stick the stem through. I don't think I made that big enough. Let me make that a little bit bigger. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our paintbrush again and we're gonna apply decoupage to the top just like we did to the bottom. So I'm gonna go just like we did before. Now, if you just go like this, it's like you're not getting in between, so you do have to, you know, really work the brush around it. And I'm even gonna put some on my stem for the ends of the paper that stick up so they are nice and flat. And like I said, these stems are stuck in these pumpkins like on a toothpick, <laughs> and they do fly out very, I brought mine home, and both my stems were out of my pumpkins already. So yeah, they're not super sturdy until you get this, you know, decoupage medium on it. Now, some people like to do it and they put the decoupage medium like on top, but this is how I like to do it. I like to coat the item because it's basically like a glue, you know, it's kind of like the consistency of like uh, Elmer's glue. It's pretty much the exact consistency. Um, I haven't ever tried using that for decoupage, but I would imagine that it might work. So somebody try it and let us know. Might need to water it down a little bit. It's water soluble because you can wash it off your hands with water. So I'm just going over the edges of that. So I did this whole part from the whole top and now I'm gonna go over these edges to smooth it down. And in the very end, if there's little parts sticking up, like we can fix that, it's always repairable. You know, okay. Now, let's put our top on. Oh, wasn't that fast? Here's the center. I'm gonna try to get my stem right on there. There it goes. And try to not tear it too much. There we go, see? And I'm gonna kinda push around that, and I'm gonna start from the center, and I'm going to push the paper down, press the paper down over the edges like that. And you know, you wanna get on the bumps, in between the bumps. This is just the neatest effect. I'm not sure whether I would've needed to paint this pumpkin before I decoupaged it, but I'm glad I did. Because when the paper gets wet, like from the decoupage, you know it gets kind of translucent. You can kind of see through it a bit. All right, so now, I am at the part where it meets, and I'm just gonna try to keep this flat while I press with my fingers in between it. Oh wow, so pretty. I love it already, I'm sold. <laughs> I am sold on this idea, so. There we are. Nice, and while that's wet, I'm gonna grab some of my scraps and I'm gonna cover that up right away, that stem. So let's see, I'm gonna part that has the flowers on it. I'm just gonna like actually 
Let's see. I'm just going to kind of stick it on there like that. And press down. And I will need to put a little more Mod Podge on that area under here. There we go. So yeah, you can cover the whole thing on the outside of the paper, the top part of the paper with your decoupage medium. Um, you can get like that glossy look if you like. Um, you can go for a matte finish. And I'm basically just doing this. This is kind of the delicate part here. So I'm gonna put a little bit more on that. Or you can just leave it and not put a coat of decoupage medium on the top of it at all and just leave it how I did it like on the bottom and then just to you know there I just did a little edge to put that down um, I actually really like the uh, the finish of the paper okay so we are almost done now I think I'm gonna either put those down or trim them off let's see I don't want it to be too thick. I think I'm gonna trim this one off and see how I like that. So I'm just gonna trim around there. And then again, taking my brush and just kinda of painting that down. It looks pretty good. I don't want it to be messy, too messy. This one I think I'm gonna leave long. So I'm gonna go underneath it and I'm gonna, again, coat the base of where I'm gonna stick the paper. I gotta turn this. And it's easy as that. This one I think I'm gonna cut off. I don't know if I'm too crazy about folding it down. You know what, I think I might actually just cut that part off. I am, um, I changed my mind. Okay, let's cover that. I'm going right over that and cutting that off because you know what, in retrospect, I don't think it, I think it was too thick. Like it made too much of a chonky kind of side on it. Okay, so now I like this. So now we can go over our seam. Cause you don't want the papers, the edges sticking up. And this is gonna glue that right down and this will dry clear. All right, so I'm gonna go down here again. Press that on there. And I have a little bit more I'm gonna cut off over here. So I'm just gonna go around and trim it. Let's see here, I've got a bit much here. Okay. So this craft project cost me a dollar for the pumpkin. It costs me a dollar for the paper, but I have enough paper to probably do, mm, let's see, we used half of one of the sheets. It was four floral sheets in a pack. So that's two, four, six, eight. I mean, look how many pumpkins you can make with this. It's crazy, right? All right, so there's that. I'm gonna look over it carefully and I'm gonna make sure that I don't have any spots of the paint like from underneath showing through, like just the white. And make sure that I have it pressed down as much as I need it to be. There we go. And once it dries, if you see that there's parts that are kind of pulling up, all you have to do is just put a little bit more on and press it down. Checking my seams again, like the bottom's beautiful, the top's beautiful. It's just that edge that you wanna make sure is nice and flat. Okay, and that's it. I'm gonna set this aside to dry and uh, we'll check on it later and we'll give it a final look once it's completely dry. Very quickly, I'm gonna do this one.
the nice thing about doing it this way is the bottom is dry. I can set that down and let it dry for the top to dry and the sides and everything. And the bottom, since we did it the way we did, we don't have to worry about it being wet and how are we gonna, you know, let it dry when we pick it up. Is it gonna, you know, stick to the table or, you know, whatever. And when I do crafts here, I just buy this poster board like at the, like at the dollar store, right? And this is a great surface to work on. You don't have to worry about, you know, covering your table with newspaper. I don't like working on top of newspaper when I'm doing crafts because it detracts from, you know, what I'm looking at. I want to be able to see, oh, I'm looking at, you know, this color, or I'm looking at, you know, something, a detail that I need to work on. And if I'm working on top of newspaper, then it's kind of like defeats the purpose, but it does, you know, save the table, but okay. So now I'm going to set this one aside to dry and I'm going to go wash my brush. You don't want to let your brushes sit around with paint on them or decoupage medium. It could be like glue, you know? Oh, we have to do the little top part yet. So. As I did with the first one, I'm just going to grab a piece of tissue paper. You can even just tear it and just put it on there like that. And just you want to cover up what's underneath for this one. I kind of need to put another piece there. And I mean, this is a very forgiving craft, right? Decoupage, like what could be easier? What could be, you know, less intimidating it's not you know it's it's something if you've never done it before don't worry it's easy <laughs> you're literally just brushing um decoupage medium onto an item and you know um some people like to use the sponge kind of brushes they're for stenciling actually um i don't like those kind of whoops i don't like to use those kind of brushes i don't think they're for this purpose i think that um Ooh, it looks like I have a little gap in here yet. There we go. I think that these brushes work better. It's a regular craft brush, but you can use whatever you like. There, and that should be nice and secure now. I shouldn't lose that stem when I pick it up. All right, let's go clean up our brushes. Okay, now these are pretty well dry. They're still a little tacky. And I thought, you know, this might be a good time to add a little bit of sparkle to my pumpkins. Um, I have this powdered gold glitter. It's um, Pearl X pigment. And, you know, this stuff is, is very potent. There's a little bit goes a long way. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dip my brush into here dry. And uh, I'm going to just like gently brush over and just like just put a little bit here and there. I don't want it to stick on, you know, all over just to give it a little bit of a shimmer. Now there's going to be some parts that are still a little wet from my decoupage and that's where it's going to add here. And that's just for like an extra added, you know, just to give it a little bit of shine if you like that. You know, you can use gold leaf. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking about maybe doing the stem with a little bit of gold paint. Okay, so that's that. And then to do the stem, I have another paint, which is, this is Liquid Leaf in Classic Gold. You can get it in different colors. And this is like the kind of gold um, paint that comes in at one of those paint pens, the ones kinds you have to shake. And let me tell you, these lids glue on, and I've said it in a past video that I made, you put a little bit of Vaseline around the edge of that, because boy, does that really stick on. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna go right over the paper on the stem. And this is like a really lustrous gold. And again, a little bit goes a long way. And you don't wanna dip your brush back into there. Like once you dipped and you have some of this, you don't wanna contaminate the paint. And there's usually like plenty enough on your brush. So just, I should have mentioned that before I dipped into it, but like you don't need a lot. A little bit goes a long way. And just go over your stem, get in the wrinkles if you can. Um, oops, I just hit. Bumped my laptop with my brush. <laughs> and that's it. I really like the gold stem, so I'm gonna do the other one also with the gold. It just adds like a little something extra to it. And that's it. Look how pretty that is. Yay. Okay, so where I got a little bit of the gold on there, all I have to do is take a tiny little piece 
of my decoupage paper <laughs> and I could just go right over that. I can actually just press it right into the paint and uh, cover that up or you know you can leave it as is but you know there's our finished pumpkins. Aren't they beautiful? Love them. This was such a fun project and I really hope that you'll try it out for yourself at home. Like I said, these cost nearly nothing to make and the final result is just beautiful. If you enjoyed this project, give it a thumbs up and as always, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit the little bell next to subscribe so you can get notified when I release a new video. I'm already working on a brand new project, so be sure to check back soon. See you next time.